Hi friends, welcome to SQL Developer Video Tutorial. This session I am going to explain you about what are the shortcuts we can use in SQL Developer and whenever you are developing any code or whenever you are running any uh, scripts if you are if you want to improve your speed like developments uh, creating a code or writing your scripts or and formatting your code so you can use these scripts and it will help you a lot while using this SQL Developer. So I'm going to give a few uh, frequently using uh, shortcuts. That's called one is the uh, first one is formatting your code. Like if you have written plenty of procedures or functions or packages or whatever you have a code, if you want to format in standard format, you can use the shortcut called Control F7 or you can right click this. There you will get a option called format. Here also mentioned shortcut. That's called Control F7. See here, it is formatted as a standard. All the classes in uppercase, the tables and the column names in lowercase. And each class is started in a new line. Here you can see. And the color also you can see. All the classes it is uh, displaying as a blue color. And the black is whatever you have, column names and table names. Then, next one is, if you want to create a duplicate line, like if you are writing your code, uh, printing your procedures or packages or function, so if you want to create a copy of that particular line, you can use this. Control Shift D. So I'm doing this. See here, it is created another duplicate line. Just roll back. That's called Control Z. Then, if you want to comment particular line, you can use Control Plus forward slash okay just control plus forward slash it's commented and then if you want to use auto trace you can use f6 okay and if you look at this menu in this worksheet there also the option is available here you can see auto trace option is displaying that shortcut is f6 okay if you click on this So as of now I log in with this username called Scott so it does not have any uh, administrative privileges so you need to grant uh, this privileges like catalog role and uh, any uh, dictionary to access this username so that's why it is giving error so you can ignore this let's and if you want to clear uh, this code like any screen you can use control D control D see it's completely clean just roll back control Z that's if you want to undo you can use the control Z here and if you want to commit like if you are writing any SQL insert or update or delete operations like any DML if you want to commit the data you can use this F11 or you can use this button here you can see commit F11 if I use F11 it will be committed like this the same thing if you want to use ex explain plan so you can if any queries if you want to execute explain plan and uh, you can use uh, f10 or he can use this button here you can see that's explain plan just put the cursor on the particular query and uh, run that okay this explain plan let's move to F12, F12 for a rollback your data. Whatever you have done, insert or update or delete, those if you want to roll back, you can use F12 or you can use this button. Then, if you have any script, if you want to run those scripts, you can use this button or you can use F5. Okay, entire script it will be executed if you use this button or F5 like this. And uh, this is the text. That's why it is giving a syntax error. You can ignore this. Like this, we can go for using shortcuts. Then another one is called running a statement. For example, if you want to run a particular statement, you can use control enter or you can use this run statement. Control enter or F9 or you can use this button. This is the shortcuts we can use. And if you want to see previous executed queries, that's called SQL history, you can use F8. 
So if we use f8, all history will be displayed here, all executed queries and the particular connection, which connection we have uh, done and the type SQL and the number of times it is executed and the duration. So everything you can see. And if you want to take this query, you can take this query. Then SQL Advisor. So if you want to uh, use a SQL uh, Tuning Advisor, you can use a Control F12. Okay, you can use Control F12. And uh, Worksheet, if you want to open a new worksheet, you can use Alt F10. Alt F10. And the time stand index advisor, if you want to use, you can use control shift x and uh, unshared SQL worksheets. If you want to create, you can use control shift n. This alt f10, this is for SQL worksheet and unshared SQL worksheets. You can use control shift n. Let's see. Opening. It's a unshared one. So like this, we can create a new worksheet directly with Alt F10. If you want to unshared one, you can use Control Shift N. And if you want to know the uh, description about your table or columns, whatever your inquiry, you can use Shift F4. Okay, Shift F4. So it will give the complete uh, window and it will give the description about uh, whatever you have a uh, columns. See here this is the employee table. It is displaying all the columns, eight columns, data types and uh, constraints. If any constraints are there, it will display the constraints. And you can see other information like constraints and the access statistics. Like there are two constraints, one primary key and one foreign key. And uh, if you go to stats, you can see the stats like a uh, number of rows, number of blocks, and the size, the last analyzed, last analyzed since. It's all information here you can see. Like this, if you want to know the description about your table, so you can use this shift for and uh, context menu so you can use a shortcut shift f10 and there are other shortcuts like when you're writing your code like when you're uh, preparing scripts okay there when you're writing you can use control space okay for example if you are want to create a function you can type cf Control space. So it will display particular create function. Okay. Create function. Same thing. If you want to create a procedure, CP control space. Okay. Like this create function is cf create procedure cp and create a table that's called ct and you have to type control t that's a create table okay then df if you want to uh, if you want to like delete the data you can use df control space it will display the syntax delete from table and table name you can mention and where class you can mention the conditions okay let's there is another one called insert into table if you want to prepare insert script i i control space it will be displayed insert into then select star from table so if you want to directly select star from table you can use ssf control space and it will display okay like this we can use all the shortcuts related to standard syntaxes or you can say standard queries and whenever 
if you want to join in line you can use control J okay control J for example I'm placing my cursor here I'm pressing control J see here like this it is joining in line control J this is called joining whatever this below line is there it is joining into existing previous line so like this we can use all these shortcuts while using SQL developer mainly in working area this is all related to code like a formatting your code and a commit rollback explain plan and executing and if you want to get a SQL history that SQL query history not SQL history it's a queries executed history queries executed history and and opening a worksheet so these all the basic things you can use in SQL developer so thank you for watching my videos please subscribe my channel to get more videos and updates on my channel thank you very much